Okay, welcome everybody to this week's call. Uh, my name is Jackie Boyle and I have the honour and the pleasure to be able to um, welcome you into Dr. Aaron's uh, weekly call. And again, he would like to send his apologies. He's got some family uh, commitments that he um, has to attend to. So um, he what does watch this, so he knows what's going on, but he is excited about this week just as much as what we all are because testimonial week is a really great way of getting out our stories. Uh, but more importantly, as I do ask people to share their story, we do need to remember that um, staying compliant um, and when we talk about the conditions that we are going to share with others, that we're, we're talking about symptoms and how um, Amulin and or 24 seven may have assisted and supported their body to manage that way, <laughs> manage their symptoms a lot more efficiently. So um, we cannot claim any uh, in any way at all to say that it has cured, healed and or fixed, but we can express um, and, and share how we feel that um, our body has responded to that. So I'd love to welcome, and it is with an honour because um, Kathy Gregory, you, are, <clears throat> you amplify exactly what the health and wellness industry is about because I know it's a passion that um, that you have it is your it is your area of expertise and I really do welcome you to the call so thank you thank you Jackie and um, I'm just privileged to be here and to share my story and actually my story and our family story started before we even met Dr. Aaron's and it was with Volantis and we have been with the company since the very, very beginning of the journey with this company almost. And so um, for my own wellness story, I really kind of, um, I don't know, was kind of hit on the side of the head that I was heading down a path that most people head down. I'm 58 years old and I was kind of just accepting that that's just what happens when you get into your fifties, you start gaining a little extra weight around your waist and, and my mom did and my aunties did and all these ladies in my family did so I just kind of expected that and then um, you know I just found things to get harder I was extra I actually avoided uh, this weights the scales and and I lied about my weight when I was going to even go downhill skiing and you have to tell them what your weight is when you get your skis I was lying to myself and so Valentis really woke me up um, and I've lost 50 pounds and I, I'm really an advocate of just getting your body back into balance and having their products assist and support you to get back into that homeostasis. And so I'm, I'm blessed that these products came into our life and through my part of my story is our daughter, Sarah, who is 25 when she was eight, she was diagnosed with Crohn's, um, actually ulcerative colitis was her initial diagnosis. And we dived into, didn't even really know what chronic illness was. I never really paid attention to that in my life. And so we didn't even know what ulcerative colitis was. So we were totally listening to doctor direction of what to do. And so really Sarah for 16 years of her, her journey of up and down was on medications. And it was coming up this past uh this coming up september would be three years that she actually had her large intestine um, taken out um, but in the process of that we were blessed to have dr aarons and the emulin come into this company and we were also blessed with after her surgery to get her on a saturated dose and with the help and the assistant of the emulin into her body and handling the inflammation within, I'm going to say probably eight days after her, she had a couple of blockages. After her last blockage uh, surgery, she was back hiking after eight days and feeling amazing. And she was even shocked herself. And so one of the reasons they took her intestine was because her liver was really um, compromised as well. And I'm just really pleased to say that Sarah is living her best life right now. She's healthier than she's been in her whole like 16 years. And um, because of the products that she's, um, the natural ingredients and the natural products and, and Ron, I know with just everything that you teach about eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle, Sarah's adopted it all. And so um, I'm just, that's 
really my passion really now is understanding inflammation and helping as many people as I can because I know there's so many people suffering out there. And so if our story, and that's really our story matters, and our story is somebody else's survival guide. Um, if I can, if we can help through our story, that's really what we're all about here. So I'm just, I thank you, Dr. Aaron, for coming into our life and for um, discovering this amazing inflammation manager for us and for many. So that's a little bit about who Kathy Gregory and family is. Kathy, I, um, I watched Sarah <clears throat> and watched over the last few years, you know, what she was, uh, what her journey was and lucky enough that um, she gave permission for you to share and to see her as a young woman, to be able to recapture the gift of life and to be able to live life better has just been amazing. And I don't know, have you got any thoughts on this, Ron? Because it's such a, a, a debilitating disease and to be able to have something that can support and manage the inflammatory levels in the body like this truly is nothing short of a gift to see the transformation that Sarah's had. Yeah, very much true. In fact, Kathy, that's my family history as well. My father had his colon removed at age 75, lived to be 80 with a bag on the side that leaked all the time and uh, full of arthritis. And uh, I wish we had now, or then what we have now. I mean, my mother too uh, could have changed lives so dramatically. So, you know, our goal like yours is to really get this out to everybody we can because it can change a life. And, and to watch that a person deteriorate with those conditions, it's not a fun thing to do. So we've, we're, we've been blessed. Yeah, and I would say one more thing I would say is, and I know this is straight from Sarah's um, heart and words is, uh, everything we go through is really it's our superpower and so you know even though you can just be really angry sometimes and mad that you're going through struggles you can either like I'm going to say this because I know Sarah has said this on stage um, you can wallow in it or you can use it as your fertilizer and grow and and just be stronger and then our our purpose and passion really now is like man we've got we've got a story to tell and we have to go and help people. So that's really what we're all about here. Kathy, you're an amazing mother. Um, <clears throat> and to be able to support your daughter like that. And, you know, being a mother myself and many of us being parents on here to be able to help your child, to be able to, to live their life well, there's nothing more rewarding because that helplessness of not having any answers or you're trying you've exhausted everything that you possibly can and then to be able to have something come along like Emulin that has literally been life-changing you know it's mm -hmm. given her a quality of life back that she's able to manage support and assist her body on her daily journeys is just truly is where Dr. Aarons is concerned it is a gift um, and I'm gonna one more thing Jackie I will say and I and I'm an advocate of this too is there's pillars to wellness and that's what I'm, we're all about too. It's not, it's not just about, it is, it is an amazing um, inflammation manager, but Sarah also takes very seriously her mindset mm. and her mindfulness and making sure that she looks after the, 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 her energy. And so she's taken a yoga um, instructor's class and she's really, you know, just um, She's, a, she's really being the example of all the pillars of wellness, making sure you're active, making sure you're eating um, healthy foods and just the whole, the whole picture is what um, she will advocate to anybody. So, Thank you, Kathy. And it's certainly a heartwarming um, story, that's for sure. And, and as we go forward with it, it's stories like that that <clears throat> we don't have to try and explain to people. It's through others' journeys that we're able to share. And this is where the power of these stories are invaluable. Um, so I really do thank you for that because sharing something personal um, certainly is um, its a gift to be able to do that as well. So I want to thank you. And I'd like to see if I can unmute um, Delfina and see if you'd like to share your story with us, Delfina. Are you there? Are you able to hear us? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? I certainly can. And just before you do go forward, 
If you can just ensure that you look at those four little words behind me so that we do stay compliant going forward, if that's okay. So we're assisting the body and supporting it to manage our symptoms. Uh, so we stay compliant when it's sharing our journey. Okay. Um, well, I've, I've never shared uh, testimony. So hopefully I, I um, can stay on track. Um, but I used to experience a pain on my on my left leg and it really bothered me a lot, especially at nighttime when I would try to sleep and it would just dis disrupt my sleep. And it uh, didn't matter if I shifted from my left to my right. And um, over the years I would go to, when I would switch from one chiropractor to another chiropr chiropractor, I'd always bring it up and ask them if, if they could help me try to figure out what it was that, um, this pain I was experiencing, what was causing it. And um, none of them were really able to help me. And um, then uh, with the one year I, uh, in fact, I think it was probably two or three years ago, um, I decided to maybe try physical therapy and see if that would help alleviate the pain. Because I, then I started to feel the pain, not only at night time when I was sleeping, but during the, during the, um, um, during the day. And so um, uh, I thought, well, I need to try something. So I went ahead and um, tried physical therapy and it, they gave me exercises to do, which I did. And, and I did them at home also, but that didn't seem to be helping either. And, um, and then uh, I started to take Amulin and I feel like that's probably what helped take my pain away because only then did I start to get relief is after I had been taking Emulin for a while, quite a while. And um, so I, I take it every day and um, I don't experience that pain that I, that I used to experience. So Dolphina, um, I'm looking in your background. So do you, are you in the health and wellness <clears throat> industry or space yourself? Oh, like yes, it's a massage table in the back. Uh, um, yes, I, I, um, I'm not a full certified massage therapist, but I am considered like a massage technician. Okay. And okay. yes, um, periodically, you know, I'll have somebody do a, want a massage, but um, I always have it out. I use it as an extra, extra desk. Um, but yes, uh, I've been into wellness for, for several years. I've been interested, uh, uh, actually more than several years. And um, so doing this kind of, um, you know, working with these kind of products just kind of goes in line with, you know, what I, what I believe in. And um, That's really interesting because again, you know, even when we're talking about <clears throat> listening to you and you the, the pain that you're experiencing in your leg, you know, it could be a multitude of things unless the doctor's specifically given you a diagnosis for it. But again, um, you know, I'm going to ask Ron because I don't want to be the only voice on here in uh, regards to my thoughts on it. So I'd like to ask you, Ron, and, and have you got any thoughts as to what Delphina has shared with us? Yeah, one of the things she mentioned too is uh, movement. And I think that's something that a lot of us, um, well, I sit behind my desk way too many hours a day, which is not good for the body. Uh, we got to move. And I think that will in itself cause a lot of uh, challenges in the structure of the body. So I think using emulent only and still sitting around and not moving is not a good plan. So we, we've got to take that. Kathy mentioned it too. It's, it's like mind, body, and spirit. We got to have it all. We got to put it all together, you know, and, and emulent is going to be a good source to reduce the inflammation but we got to move so that we keep things moving. And, and that's a critical thing for good health. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, um, and I want to thank you, Delphina, because <clears throat> again, you know, there's so many people that um, will say that they've got aches or they've got, they're experiencing pain somewhere. And, and to be able to have um, something like this that you've shared with us is going to, again, it's going to put a light bulb on for, for the next person that may listen to this. So thank you so much for sharing that. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask, is anybody else on here, would they like to share anything? Lorena, have you got anything that you are happy to share? I'm putting you on the spot, aren't I? <laughs> yes, you are. That's about the only time I come off mute. <laughs> uh, how are you? 
I am excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Can you can you hear me okay? My furnace just kicked in. I can hear you very clearly. Okay. So I don't know what my what caused my issues, but um, I run own and operate a traditional store with a lot of heavy lifting. And a few years into owning the store, um, my muscles, something started happening with my muscles. So I, I didn't have time to be running to specialists. So my doctor would just prescribe me medication. So I was on between four and six medication shots um, a day. And honestly, they weren't helping. I was just putting on weight. Um, I was mixing them all because nothing was happening, helping and to the point of actually throwing up. So I think I was ODing on them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, then a friend of mine brought in um, a, a coffee sample and I started to take that in the immune and the uh, trim. And in a month and a half to two months, I was off of all of my medications. So I don't know what those products have in them, but they were game changing. But then I ended up with two frozen shoulders. First it was my right one and now it's my left one. Mm. So I, it was so bad, I couldn't touch the top of my ear. I had to get my hair cut because I couldn't touch the top of my head. And look at me now, oh. I can almost, yeah, I can. I can touch my ear on the other side of my head. And that is from the amulet. 100% from the amulet because I still wasn't, I didn't have use of my shoulders even being on all the other products that I was on until the amulet came out. So I, it's, it's crazy amazing. I was, another issue that I had was my hip. Every step I took, it felt like there was, um, I wouldn't say a needle going into it, but almost like, um, I don't know, kind of like a needle going into my hip with every step and it was so painful. And my store is 5,000 square feet. My house is 5,000 square feet. So I made a lot of steps in a day and being on the Amulet wouldn't even know it hurt me. If I go off of Amulet, it all comes back. So I have a few few little twerks in my, in my body that I just honestly related to getting older and doing what I do for a living. But if you can rid your body of inflammation, aches and pains go away. Your mobility increases and life gets pretty darn good. That Back is, to you. Um, <clears throat> that is amazing. Uh, there's some great um Results there, Lorena. Thank you so much. Um, Ron, I want to yeah, ask you, have you got any thoughts here with Lorena's story? One thing that immediately came to my mind is what Dr. Joe has continually said is that we are dealing with an, a flavonoid deficiency syndrome. Everyone has it. And when you put those flavonoids in the body, other products help you a lot there, which is good. But we're still, we were missing those flavonoids in our body that are just absolutely critical to life. We can eat all the fruits and vegetables we want, and I do, and I eat a lot of all that good stuff. I still need emulin because we do not have, and I'm a lot older than what you are, and we can do things that people half our age can't do because we are getting those flavonoids. The body requires to function normally. That homeostasis, my favorite word. If we're, if we're in that balance, we're going to have good health. It's just that simple. Yeah, Lorena, you're yeah, and you're... I will add, I'm I'm not the best um, person for diet wise. Like I eat if I eat a vegetable once a week, I'm doing good. Um, I'm a carbs and meat person. I know, right? <laughs> carbs and meat all the way. And because of our schedule, I have about an hour from the time that I get upstairs to start supper till we eat and and my husband goes to bed so I don't have a lot of time to prep or anything like that we've been living like this for 17 years so I can definitely see why that 
would take a toll on my body along with the hard, hard work and hours that we put in. But I'm so much better now. And like you say, it's just the, the amulin, the, the flavonoids that I'm putting in my body because I haven't changed the way I'm eating. I really and truly haven't. I, I, my lifestyle doesn't, um, doesn't allow me to do that right now. Maybe once I'm retired, I'll be able to pamper ourselves with meals and stuff like that. But for right now, that's just the way we, we are. So I totally agree with you, Ron. I would encourage you, don't wait till you retire. You know, one thing, <laughs> years ago, just to give you a real quick story, Donna and I were working in our practice and when we were there, we were both working together, just the two of us. And we came home at about 5.30 and we liked to eat around six. So there's very, very little time. What Donna made it a point of really is figuring out how to pre-prep things early in the morning so that when we walk in, you could put it on the stove and go. You know, even when she got back from the grocery store, do a lot of pre-prepping right there, spend an hour or two hours pre-prepping for the whole week, getting vegetables cut up. Then it's easy to throw something in, in the oven, you know, grill some things and, and really make a huge difference. But what we did is made that change, well, probably about at 50 years of age and now in my late seventies, we feel pretty good. So, and then Emulin, of course, has really made a huge difference in our lives as well. Yeah, Lorena, <clears throat> that's awesome, Ron. And Lorena, just listening to the different areas in regards to how life has become better and how life has become more manageable. And I love your honesty because, you know, some people will try and say, well, I do this and I do that. Well, the reality is, hey, you've told us exactly what you do do and what life is like for you. So, you know, and the big key um, nugget that I get out of this is that nothing changed in your life other than previous products that you took of Valentis's products that gave you benefits that you shared but then you've introduced emulin again uh, it's not again but you've introduced emulin nothing had changed in your schedule in in your life but what you actually noticed in regards to the support and the assistance in being able to manage those symptoms frozen shoulders for those that do not um, have a really good understanding when it comes to frozen shoulders they would have to be one of the big areas that are very difficult to get um, treatment for because they're not like they're not locked in like with a ball and socket type thing. When we're looking at shoulders, there's a lot of ligament, there's a lot of tendons that uh, that the shoulder is relying on being held in place by those. And if they've got a lot of inflammation that is um, attached to that, any slight sort of movement in that is excruciatingly painful because. You know, owning a fitness center and a rehab center for years, I worked with a lot of people with a lot of injuries. And especially if we start looking into um, even the older sector, like the more mature sector of going 50 plus, which I'm in now, um, that you start looking at the little things we take for granted, opening the car door, opening up a kitchen cupboard up high, wanting to brush your hair, wanting to shampoo your hair, wanting to put clothes on, wanting to pick your grandkids up, wanting to shave and do the whippersnippering, all that sort of stuff, um, mowing the lawns. <laughs> the little things that we really honestly take for granted. And it's even like, well, okay, how many of you have your microwave up high? You've got to lift up your food to put it into the microwave. Let me tell you, when you've got a frozen shoulder or you've got a, a decrease in range of mobility, those little things become great things, like they become impossible things. So listening to what you're saying, Lorena, like my home, um, I designed this home that I'm in for a very good reason because I was heading into a wheelchair. So my microwave, everything is down at a low um, level so that I didn't have to lift up high. I didn't have to do those sorts of things because frozen shoulders are really hard to treat and they can be visits after visit after visit to um, physiotherapists, chiropractors with no um, response in return. So um, hearing your story would have to be one of the best stories, um, you know, I've heard for a long time when it comes to frozen shoulders, because it's um, no change in lifestyle, no change in workload, still working like crazy, still eating a diet, which probably isn't the preferred, but it's your diet, it's what you're having. Um, but you've had these massive changes. So thank you. Like that is really powerful. I'm really, really happy you've shared that. 
What do you think, Ron? Yeah, it's good to hear. I know that frozen shoulder uh, thing uh, my father had, and he was uh, hit by a lady on a bicycle when he stepped off the steps at the city hall, and uh, he was probably in his early 60s, maybe, and he could not get his hand up that high. I mean, it affected him the rest of his life, and then arthritis set in, and then the colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy, and, you know, just, it, it was a downhill thing, but movement, uh, I could tell you. One of the things I was thinking too, uh, what we all should be doing as we age in particular is stretching. We do not get out of bed in the morning without stretching every day. And we stretch all parts of our body. And it makes such a huge difference. If, if in fact you need to get out of bed in the middle of the night and you're, you've been sleeping, those first few steps when you're a little older can be a little frightening uh, for a lot of people. And we hear a lot of people falling. Well, we stretch before we get out of bed and I literally jump out of bed in the morning and I, I, there's no unsteadiness, there's good balance, but it's because the muscles are warmed up, the body's functioning right, and then of course we take emulin. So, you know, it's really a powerful combination of doing all of this and it's just not one thing or the other, it's everything. Put it all together and we're gonna have the best we can have for what we're genetically given. Mm. No, I agree, Ron, and I'm going to add something in here for my husband uh, because I can share his story knowing what he is all about. Since we've gone down this, this route of um, the conditions that we're dealing with here and what have been shared today, but looking at uh, for him, he was a, an ex-professional uh, elite uh, sports person. He's in still in the elite field as a coach, lectures at university, but he's had two knee replacements. He's had a shoulder reconstruction um, the man is amazing. He's 61 and he looks like a flaming 20 year old. And the only thing that changed, like when he went through his, um, his knee replacements, he had one 12 months apart. Um, so they're both done now. He had his shoulder reconstructed. Amulin carried him through. It gave him the support and the assistance. He was back surfing within six weeks after his last um, knee replacement. Um, his shoulder reconstruction that he had done. Like he is very avid, exactly what you said, Ron, and this is why I wanted to bring it in. Um, he's working in the elite sector all the time, every day, but he stretches every single day. He's got the foam roller out. He's got the, um, the rubber bands, like to get the extra extension because he, his hamstring um, flexibility isn't great, so he can't reach his toes. Um, so he uses a band to be able to stretch the hamstrings, his lower back. We both do. I mean, I'm hypermobile, so I'm extremely mobile. But even through um, even being hypermobile, because I'm sedentary a lot more these days than what I was when we owned the business, my lower back gets affected because my hip flexors shorten because I'm in a seated position and I'm not stretching and, and lengthening my hamstrings in the way that I need to, which affects my lower back pain. So. The importance of stretching is it's an undervalued um, exercise and, and you only need to take like 10 minutes a day. That's all. Yeah. Um, it doesn't take much, but the benefits of it are really phenomenal for you. And, and just to, to finish off on this, because I know Kathy, you mentioned this with Sarah, our mental health, when I say our mental health, like our positivity, you know, what do you do um, to, to delve into creating a positive mindset for yourself because we could all be victims for a multitude of reasons. But if we start looking at how grateful we are, um, I went through a program called the resilience project and I will delve into that at another time, but basically it teaches you to look at three things, empathy, mindfulness, and gratitude and, you know, wake up each day. And in my worst, I would, in my diary, write three uh, dreadful things for the day that occurred. So I would visually recognize what was a really poor things that affected me in that day. But I would write three positive things that affected me. So the day wasn't wasted. And then I would write what I was looking forward to the next day. So acknowledging what's not good in your mind is a good thing because it gets it out of your head. Like it allows you to process it, accept it, <coughs> accept it and put it down on paper to get it out of your mind. But nurture yourself with positive thoughts. So 
on my page, besides writing, putting naughty little borderline cartoons of um, my bad humour, um, <laughs> but also putting positive quotes up there, it actually isn't for anybody else other than myself. Um, and I search for those for a very good reason from suffering from chronic depression and anxiety and mental health um, through my conditions that I do that for a very good reason because it teaches me to look for something positive. So whilst I'm reading it, I'm fueling my brain with positive thoughts. And if I find something that really, you know, gels with me, then I want to share it because it's amazing how many people look for that. Where do you find those quotes? We'll just go searching for them because I need to nurture and fuel my body with positive thoughts. Just as what Ron says, we need to fuel our body with correct choices for our fuel, for our um, food, for our body. We need to get mobile and we need to exercise to keep the mobility and keep the, um, you know, our body from seizing up. So there's all of these areas mentally, physically and emotionally we need to fuel our body. And this is where, without making any claims, Amiel and Andor 24-7 comes into such a huge role because by being able to understand the impact of what inflammation can have on our body, it can interfere with our mob mobility. It can also have an effect on our mental state. It can also have an effect on how we process our food, how we're able to, how the symptoms of our body is responding back to us. So if we can lessen <clears throat> inflammatory levels in the body, not only can we think sharper, not only can we move a lot more freely, um, but the symptoms of pain that we may be suffering or the symptoms of things that we have or our skin, our hair, um, can benefit from that. And I said to Ron before we, we came onto this call, um, and I will get around to sharing my testimonial one day, but my hair's grown um, a good four inches in the last six months. And I just keep looking at my general health in the last four years from when I have been on Emulin my nails, my teeth, my hair, my skin, everything is just getting better every single week. Um, it's, it's just crazy. I was in hospital yesterday having day surgery um, under a general anesthetic. So, you know, and here I am today. I wasn't so good this morning. I must admit a bit dopey, dopier than normal. Um, but, you know, to be able to get up and function today like this um, after a general anesthetic, is just, it's amazing. And there's only one thing that has changed in my life and that is Amulin. Um, so I wanna thank each and every one of you. I think at the beginning of next month, I will um, schedule this and I am just going to tell my whole testimonial because it's going to just take up the whole duration of the time. Um, I'm ready to tell it um, because I'm in a very good space to be able to do that. And I think it's going to really open up. I've got goosebumps when I think about it. Because I'm going to have to do some liaising with, um, with my very good friend, Ron, to be able to help me through it because it's really going to be quite an emotional journey. But I want to share because I want to help people. I want people to understand exactly what this product is capable of doing for the multiple um, symptoms that I still am dealing with on a daily basis. And it comes with more passion even after my anaesthetist and my specialist yesterday, what they could tell me yesterday. Um, I just come out grinning I'm just thinking oh my goodness me um, so I will share that um, next month but I do want to say to you um, you know I've brought some people on board this week and they've wanted to know how to explain Emulin there's two ways to explain Emulin to somebody go to www.drjosephaarons.com send them straight to his web page. There are five amazing videos in there. There is information galore in there. I'll put it into the chat line for you so that you do have it. So it's just um, www.dr, uh, all lowercase, josephaarons.com. I'll make sure I put it, there you go. It's a safe zone. It's got a lot of information. It will tell you and it will give you the ability to be able to share with others the brilliance of this man. It's got his biography in there, um, but the videos in regards to understanding about what this product is all about um, will help you to share it. You won't have to do a thing. 
And the other thing is to share um, the Facebook page, but just ask them when you're going to invite them that they need to accept it because there's probably about 3,000 people that haven't actually accepted um, their invitation into that page. So that's just something to remember as well. But I want to thank um, Delphina. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Kathy, I want to thank you personally as well. And Lorena, um, from the heart and from my heart, I really am so grateful for you to share um, your story and, and Sarah's story too, Kathy, because it's personal. Um, and to share somebody's personal story uh, is a really, um, it's a big thing. It really is a big thing. And I want to thank Ron, as always, my very good friend for being able to help us and to be able to give your professional opinion as well as to what these amazing stories are and, and your professional opinion. And hopefully um, you guys will be back on board. Next week we've got Q&A and there's quite a few of them in Dr. Erin's um, email. So we might be able to address some of those because some of them are um, quite in-depth questions that have been sent through. But otherwise, I hope you have a great day. I hope you share this. It'll be into the pages and on Dr. Erin's YouTube page. Um, keep posted. We've got some exciting stuff moving forward with his lifestyle program. So um, that is in the works. Um, and that is going to be exciting too for people. So otherwise, thank you so much on behalf of myself and Ron and for Kathy, Delphina and Lorena for sharing your stories today. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Bye.